Well, it is severe weather preparedness week here in North Georgia. I'm meteorologist Samantha Moore, and here as part of your storm tracker team, we're talking about a different type of severe weather each and every day this week and just educating folks and let them know how to stay safe during episodes of severe weather. And today we are focusing on thunderstorm safety, specifically severe thunderstorms. So what exactly is a severe thunderstorm? Well, there are a few criteria that a storm must meet before the National Weather Service will term it as severe. And a large, a large part of the damage caused by a severe thunderstorm is due to winds. So strong gusty thunderstorm force winds up to 58 miles per hour. If it's 58 or higher, then it would be termed a severe thunderstorm. And then along with that, we have the risk of seeing some large hail and some of these, well, very vertically developed storms that have a lot of vertical lift with updrafts. So hail that's an inch or larger would be termed severe. And that would be as large as a quarter. So that can do some damage. And you know, the largest we've ever had in North Georgia has been softball sized hail and that's when it's four and a half inches across. So that is some incredibly damaging and dangerous hail. You certainly would hate to see a hailstorm like that on top of your car. So how do you stay safe in a severe thunderstorm? Well, it's all about the walls. You want to put as many walls between you and that storm as possible to protect yourself, to protect your family. And if you happen to have a basement or an interior closet, that is definitely the safest spot uh, that you can uh, seek shelter in someplace that's as far away from the storm as possible. And another thing we're going to remind you of is the difference between a watch and a warning. A watch is generally issued before a warning. That's cautionary. It says the conditions are presenting themselves. We could see severe weather, but a warning means that it's either occurring or that is imminent or very likely and it's time to take action now and to seek shelter and to stay safe. So tomorrow we'll be talking about tornado safety and some of the indicators when things do uh, show us that we could be seeing severe storms that could spawn tornadoes and how to keep your family safe. So we'll see you tomorrow.